immunogen as i already explained explained in the last video that antigen can be heptin or antigen can be immunogen the heptin size is going to be more the heptin size is going to be less than 6000 delta but the immunogen size is going to be more than 6000 delta okay here you can see the size is more than 6000 delta and this is the size which is enough this large size of the immunogen is enough to induce the immune response okay so you have to remember this now heptin size is less than 6000 delta and heptin cannot induce immune immune response okay now as i if you can see here this antigen can be heptin or immunogen now you have to remember all immunogen are antigen from here go by this way so all immunogen are antigen but all antigen are not immunogen because antigen can also be a heptin it can also be immunogen so from this way go by this way you will remember all immunogen are antigen but all antigen are not immunogen because antigen can be heptin antigen can also be immunogen now immunogenicity immunogenicity is actually the ability of immunogen to induce the immune response okay I already uploaded another video on humoral and cell mediated immunity so this immune response is consisting of humoral and cell mediated immune response now factor which influence immunogenicity the most important factor which influence the immunogenicity is variability okay variation variation in the their genetic structure like you see here this is influenza virus there is genetic shift and genetic drip occur in the influenza virus which lead to the variability of this influenza virus okay so this is called variability but here we will be explain another factor another factors which influence the immunogenicities like uh, like you can see here foreignness okay like okay uh, the antigen the immunogen must be recognized as a non-self by our body by our immune cells by our immune system okay non-self the immunogen must be recognized as a non-self okay so and size as i already said that the size matter size will be more than 6000 delta if the size is more than 6000 delta they can influence or induce the immune response size means i will be talking about molecular weight okay like molecular weight now if it is more than 6000 but less than 10000 molecular weight then these are weak immunogen but if the molecular weight of the immunogen is more than 10000 delta they will be calling strong immunogen <clears throat> now the chemical structure now the chemical uh, the chemical nature can also uh, be important here you can see like as i already explained in the in the last video that uh, antigens are proteins carbohydrates and fats like we can say lipid okay so proteins are strong immunogen and majority of immunogens or antigen are protein carbohydrate a little bit strong okay a little bit strong immunogen fats lipids they are very poor immunogen and if the molecule is complex they will be more immunogenic in nature now amount of we will be talking about now uh, amount of antigen the amount of antigen also matter like if the immune response uh, depend on the amount of antigen if the amount of antigen are high uh, then they will lead to uh, activate the immune response okay now root up administration also uh, uh, will be uh, root up administration also affect the immune response uh, like if someone is taking uh, if the immunogen uh, uh, is taken by orally and then we we do have iga which will kill that immunogen or antigen and like delay absorption bitter immune response if the absorption is delayed there will be bitter immune response orally if the antigen uh, is taken orally it will be destroyed destroyed by iga and 